This is the Elect Intuitive Prophetess back again with another spiritual energy read. All of my messages and readings are timeless, so whenever you hear it, that's when it's meant for you to apply it to your special situation. Please be advised that every read is not for everyone. I may not be the reader for you, and that's fine, because you're only going to take that which resonates and leave the rest behind. Welcome back to all of my subscribers, those that have been with me since day one, those that are just now coming aboard. You are welcome with that fresh, new, energetic, healing energy that you're bringing with your your gifting, because a lot of you guys are gifted, a lot of you guys are healing, a lot of us are healing from uh, twin flame journeys, narcissistic abuse, religious abuse, uh, family mistreatment. We're just all here healing together. Yes, I appreciate all of the energetic exchanges that take place in the comment section. I really do appreciate every financial contribution that's being made towards the growth and expansion of the channel. All cross watchers are welcome. Prophets, prophetess, seers, light workers, members of the Soul Tribe family, you are welcome to this Judge Free Zone where we do not judge anyone. But we only offer light, love, hope, and healing as we assist one another on this journey that we call life. Let's tap straight in to the word. And he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. 2 Corinthians 12 and 9. Listen, y'all. Literally, right when you think that you're weak, that you're ineffective, that you're not strong, that's when you're the strongest. That's when you're the most helpful. Usually when you feel like you're not strong, you are. And it's proven by uh, times from where people knocked you down, thought they had ended you, thought they had called you out, got you caught up, and thought, you know, they're not going to bounce back from this. We finally got rid of her. We finally got rid of him. And you're still here. So although you're weak, you may feel weak, you're strong, you're spiritually protected. You have an army of angels around you that you can't even see protecting you from danger seen and unseen. So I need the weak to say that they're strong. Let the weak say, I am strong. Type it in the comments. When I feel weak, that's when I'm strong. And with that being said, do not doubt yourself. Stop doubting yourself. I hear the name Christian, Chris. I need you to stop doubting yourself. Charla, Charlotte, Charlie, stop doubting yourself. Mm hmm. Let me tell y'all something. It did not go as planned for this person who's in your energy right now. It could be a friends group, it could be family members, it could be ex co workers, who's ever in the collective's energy at this time. Just know it did not work out or go as planned. That's what we're going to be talking about. Man, I've already started with the names. Let's see who else is going to come up and out. We're starting with letters, numbers, uh, sun signs, uh, first and the last initials. Adjust the energies as needed. Perry, Peter, Pam, uh, Peggy, Pat, Patricia, Patrick. I need y'all to know whoever hurt you, whoever used you, whoever turned on you, whoever set you up. Whoever thought that they were going to get something out of one-upping you, looking down on you, hurting you, it did not work out or go as they planned it to. The letter T is here. P, T, T, P. I don't know. Those could be some initials. We have the letter X. I don't know why I'm picking up on Texas. If you're watching me from the state of Texas, please go in the comment section and let me know what city you are from in Texas. We have the number 99. We have 10, 10. Yes, there's some endings here. There's some balance that's going to be made. There's some uh, eight here. Uh, that nine and nine is 18. It goes back to nine, but we also get an eight. We're, I'm picking up on some karma. Heavy or lightweight, I don't know, but karma is probably gonna come out in this read. You could be the sun sign of Aries. The number five is here. The letter W is here. Hmm. Tawana, Tonda, Tish, Letitia. The number 44 is here. The number 16 is here. We have 12, 12 here. The number synchronicities are jumping out. We have the number 11. Intuition is very strong. You could have a birthday of January the 9th, September the 1st, 
uh, January the 2nd, February the 1st, February the 2nd, February the 9th, September the 2nd, September the 11th. You could have a birthday of October the 9th, September the 10th, uh, May the 9th. If, if it's May the 9th, happy belated birthday. If it's today, happy birthday. May the 10th is here. May the 10th, 1999 is here. You could have had a birthday of April the 5th, May the 4th, January the 6th, June the 1st, Gemini, Libra, Virgo, energy is here. Aries, obviously, is here. I'm also picking up on some Cancer. Leo, energy is here. You will know if this is your read. Like I always say, puzzle pieces. Someone is being divinely get, guided, divinely protected. Like I said, karma is here. Four and four is eight. Somebody's going to go through a big change, death. Uh, death is not necessarily in the physical. When something ends, just know that something new is about to begin. The number seven is here. God is with you. You need to know this. Something may have happened December the 12th, November the 11th. Scorpio, Sagittarius energy is here. You're definitely being divinely protected. We have 333 here, Pisces energy. Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Yes, you are here. You could be 33. You could be, you could have grandparents that you just celebrated that turned 99. You could have teenagers, preteens, 16, 12, 15. Someone could be 30. Someone could be 32 here. Your address could be 1125, 1115, 1133, 1144. You could have license plates that carry these letters these names these numbers nothing is wasted in god they mean something on the comment section and type nothing is wasted and oh you know what we got 44 and 444 this happened in a read yesterday that was off of youtube and man those spirits came through and they told on somebody and it was really frightening we we have 77 here's seven again i'm telling you someone can expect a miracle a huge change there is a huge change coming up for some body. April the 4th energy is here. You could be 44. If you hear any dogs barking in the background, I'm still traveling. I'm with my little fur nephew and niece, Kate and um and Chief. They are huge dogs, a bull mastiff, and we have a pit bull. So if you hear them barking, they're kind of loud, just ignore that. We have 14, 14 here, September the 14th, September the 19th, September the 15th of 72, 67, 69. These are years. You could have been born in 1990, 1980, 1985, July the 12th, 1985. I believe that's Cancer Energy. We have the letter D. Dominic, Dana, DeRosa, Doris, Sharice, Sally, Sal, Sam, Tammy, Ta I think I said Tonda, Terry, Torrance, Tori. Those are the names that are coming to mind. Let's dig deeper. It did not go out. It did not work out or go as planned for these people who had a vendetta against you, who tried to set you up. Maybe they cheated on you. Maybe they lied. Maybe you were involved in some narcissistic energy here. Maybe you've experienced narcissistic abuse. If they used you for supply, if they found a new supply, if they left you, kicked you to the curb, stonewalled you, friend zoned you, walked away, maybe this family group turned on you. They chose somebody else. They burnt bridges. They used you as a scapegoat. You were noted as being a black sheep. Actually, you're the chosen one. Go in the comment section and type, I am the chosen one. Whatever these people did to diss you, things are not working out or going as planned. Let's get some one-liners here. What's going on with these people? What are the messages for the collective on today? You saw that witch card, but it came out with too many cards. If it's meant to be, it will be. Say, Sarah, Sarah, whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. Say, Sarah, say, Sarah. I don't know why I heard that. That might be somebody's uh, favorite song. I hope, I hope that they don't flag me for uh, using that song and partially pay me on YouTube, but that's okay because I'm here to channel energy to channel messages to let people know what to do, what not to do, when to move, how to move. I'm just here to help. So that could be somebody's favorite song. But let's tap in. What are the messages for the collective? 
these people who thought they had a plan and they thought their come up would come through hurting or using the collective. Things are not, I said, what did I say? Someone may have tried to one up you. They tried to hide something from you. They didn't want you to find out something and you know all about it. If they haven't said nothing to you in the 3D, all you got to do is follow your spirit, your intuition. I'm, I got gifted readers and channelers and people listening to me right now. One thing that tickles me about people who did me this way, I know it didn't work out or go as they planned. These people really thought by calling me out and reporting me to the higher ups in the spiritual community that I would abandon what I know God told me to do, whether they understand it or not. Pull the plug on what God told me to do because somebody didn't like it. They told on me. And I'm telling you, I have to make the heaven for myself. I have to see God for myself. I can't worry about what other people are doing. And that's what freaks me out. If these people were just worrying about themselves, if they would mind their own business and leave people alone, go in the comment section and say, leave people alone. I took my power back. What people see as a fall is your come up. Let them keep playing. What are the messages for the collective? Vengeance. Whoa. Let me tell y'all something. The energy on this card right now, this is not you paying them back. This is not them getting back at you. Vengeance belongs to God. He said that vengeance is mine, save the Lord. I shall repay. These people that tried to one-up you, they're going to pay. Y'all already know how my little synapses go. I give y'all the scripture. I give you the affirmation. I tell you the energy I'm picking up. It's confirmed through the cards. And my church, my religious group, dude, oh my God, Lord. On my other channel, I guess they tried. Look at this, devil. These people are the devil. They're working for the devil. They don't even know who they're contracted through. Mm. How can you be committing a, adultery, don't know what sex you want to be with, just pre, full of pretense and fakeness? Now I know how the church is. I was trying to do it on the low. It wasn't totally hidden, but I guess when you get up to 1.9 million views, you can't hide from everybody. Over 18,000 subscribers, you can't hide from everybody. But they took it and they watched me, y'all, for months, for weeks. They watched me. These people had to go literally to get counseling to see should they approach their friend about her practicing witchcraft. I mean, my I, my heart was kind of broken because I guess I thought some of these people knew me better or if they had a problem, they could have just came to me. Y'all, let me tell you, people are low down. They low down. What are you doing watching tarot anyhow? What are you doing watching readings? What are you doing searching the esoteric community? If that ain't see, and won't nobody ask those people what they were doing. They're too well. I seen her on YouTube. I know it was her. Oh my God, let me tell you. They tried to one up me. They tried to take my call away from me. They tried to take my spiritual inherent inheritance from me. These people are in trouble. And that's who's coming for them. Collective, if you resonate with my story, I need you to be encouraged. If it happened for me, it happened for you. I'm doing fine. Y'all see what I'm doing. I'm back on YouTube, minding my own business. And it still ain't a secret. And I'm still walking and moving in the energy that I felt God led me to. And God said he's going to one-up them anyhow. They had a problem with tarot cards. The Spirit said, just start using your cards because I've gifted you. I've anointed you. You don't even need a card. And what was so crazy, y'all, I'm I'm educated, I'm trained, I've been taught to use the cards. Everybody, do, I keep saying that, everybody on YouTube don't need to be touching no tarot cards until you've been to school and you have an understanding for it. That's why I know only certain people are chosen to truly master that. I'm educated, got a degree, bachelor's in it, holistic health practices, spiritual uh, healing, all that. I had to get 10 certifications on religious abuse, narcissistic abuse. All of this came with my degree. It's like you telling me, don't practice your degree. Don't use your degree to make money. Ain't that why we get education? Come on now. Somebody is, they, I hope I ain't turning y'all off because somebody needs to be encouraged. You need to know that you're going to be okay if you walk in the call, make your calling and election sure. I've done that. What now the problem with them is and other people if they don't understand your call that's not your problem collective if they don't understand that it's not your problem go in the comment section and type 
Their lack of understanding is not my problem. Somebody type it. Let's keep it moving. What are the messages for the collective? These people are angry with you because you're gifted. They want to know why they're not gifted. Maybe if they didn't talk about people so much, a gift would surface in their life. I don't know. Look at this. I just said, maybe if they didn't run their mouth so much and there's gossip. You Look, I'm, I'm millionaire status. I don't know what y'all doing out there. I am not letting these people talk about me. Listen, if you're not having haters and the devil and people trying to one-up you and all that, you ain't doing nothing. If they coming for you, like me, if they got to recruit a crowd of people and a, and a board of people to come and talk to you, you're doing something right. Don't let them fool you. You're doing something wrong. Well, if I'm doing something wrong, why y'all scared to approach me? That hurt me more than anything. And then one lady... I had a lot of trust in her and faith in her. Thank God I didn't say nothing about nobody. I sent her text messages trying to explain to her what was going on to me. And she actually sent me back a text message about myself that she was sending to somebody else, one of my enemies. I'm going to leave that right there. Now, that's some low down stuff. That's what the religious community is about. You better find God for yourself. Some of these people is a trip. They're just, they're just practicing religion as a cover. See, they tried to say that about me, but it's awfully funny. I'm the only one who could take accountability, who could explain their stance, even the reasons why. I'm the only one that could say, yeah, it's me. Okay, let me start over. I'm going to do it over here now. What y'all going to do? I'm the only one seemingly can say who they are. Uh, they got bigger fish to fry than to be coming for me. I hope some of them listening because I know they're subscribed to the new channel as well. Keep the dirt going. Watch what's going to happen. Because God is getting tired. Whatever they planned for you, however they thought it was going to go, it didn't work out. I got grandpa here, uh, energy. That's always my ancestor energy coming through. Somebody's family. You got family on the other side that's praying for you, that's protecting you. Uh-huh. We got warlock energy here. Who Who is more witchy and warlock than some people that have gang stalked you for weeks in and weeks out? See, what they had planned was we're going to approach her and we're going to humble her and we're going to knock her down. And she's going to say she's sorry and never do it again if she wants to hang out with us. Well, guess what? what I chose me go in the comment section and type I chose me I'm here to encourage you guys to choose yourself over these people God is huge stop putting him in a box stop locking him in a closet stop saying it can only be one way just stop it we have sex here I hope ain't nobody having sex with a warlock because if you are you need to repent you need to take some sock baths and Anoint yourself with blessed oil. You need to leave leave that type of toxic energy alone. It does exist. Look, you already know. You already know who tried to come for you. You already know who was setting you up. You already know who's been gossiping. So now you're seeing what's getting ready to go down. It didn't go the way they planned. They didn't expect for me to choose me. People don't expect for you to choose you. People don't expect for you what they call exposure. Man, y'all just really helped this channel grow even quicker. What y'all calling her, she took a fall from grace. It looks to me like I got to come up in victory. Come on now. Somebody better type it in the comments. This is not a fall from grace. This is my come up and I'm victorious. I have the victory. Type, I have the victory. Type, I have not fallen. I'm thinking about that commercial now. I'm failing and I can't give up. Look, I conquered that one, but that's one mountain I conquered, y'all. If it didn't teach me nothing else, it was to choose me. The Bible says with men it's impossible, but not with God. You could tell a mountain to move, to get out of your way. Don't let nobody stop you, collective. What are the messages for the collective? We have evicted. Why they playing with you, trying to one-up you? Somebody about to lose their house. Look, I got fire right here. And that ain't no fire sign. I'm talking about spiritual fire. Lord, I forbid and I rebuke the devil. Didn't anybody get caught up in a natural fire? But somebody's about to lose their house. They're about to lose where they stay behind messing and picking with a chosen one. Y'all saw how many times 44 came out, 444. You're being rejected for protection. Delay is not denial. Rejection is just redirection. Somebody type it in the comments. Rejection is my redirection. They thought they had me. God just said, do it this way. I'm still with you. And he's, he's turning the judgment light on the people that came for me. 
All I need to do is stay focused and keep doing what I'm doing. I hope I'm helping somebody. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, you and these people's dreams, they can't get you off their mind. They need to apologize for how they treated you. I got so many people that owe me an apology, but God gonna take care of it. I got stop. These people need to stop. And you need to stop going around these people who tried to set you up, who tried to kill your dream. These dream killers, these haters ain't got nothing going on for themselves, don't even like themselves, and always trying to say something about somebody else. A lot of them, if you think about it, a lot of your haters are overweight. Now, you could be overweight for reasons. I'm not talking about anything medical like swelling, water retention, stuff like that. Yes, I do have a degree in medical management as well. I'm talking about the sin of gluttony that's mentioned in the Bible. Now, that's a sin that church people do not like to deal with. And I'm going to just stop right there. So, why you pointing fingers at me? Can you even control your diet? Can you even follow the directions for your health? I am not impressed with people that's all deep spiritually up running their mouth. And I ain't trying to be funny. They look a mess. They look the opposite of what's in the word. I'm not talking about people that's suffering from illnesses because we all know that God is a healer. I was 224 pounds listening to a medical doctor who claimed they were trying to help me with over 30 years of experience. I had to listen to God. And until I put those nerve pills down, basically those tranquilizers, all of this legal drug, drug trade stuff is legal. They sell it to you because they're getting a profit off of it and tell you that you're doing good, how am I going to go to you for back pain and you're going to prescribe me something that causes back pain? Come on now, y'all. So guess what I did? I got myself together. I prayed. I fasted. I said, Lord, show me a right way, a natural way. And I talked to you now, almost 100 pounds lighter. Praise God. I'm testifying to somebody. Don't let people stress you out until you own that stuff. I'm talking about these legal drug prescriptions that's just poison. It's just legal. I could say some things, but I'm not because I don't want YouTube to flag me. What are the messages for the collective? I'm tripping tonight. I didn't mean to say all this stuff. We got an emperor here, masculine energy. What's going on with this emperor? It's very sad because they've been a fool. I can't make this stuff up. DM. Divine masculine. Maybe they've been in your DM. You got some emperors that hurt you. They should have been looking out for your soul. They should have been trying to protect you, grow you, water your mind. What did they do? Go out and play on you, cheat on you. Adjust the energies as needed. This could be a feminine energy that did this to one of my kings, my masculines. I love my men of all colors, of all races. I hate to see women mess over good men. Am I perfect? No, I've made mistakes myself, but I woke up real quick. I woke up real quick. I'm not talking to the people that's healing. I'm not talking to the people that's waking up that really want to change, that's trying to do right. I'm talking about these people whose plan did not go like they wanted it to. It did not work out. These people who got the answer to their problem was hurting you and causing you problems. That's who I'm talking to. Narcissistic energies. Narcissistic, uh, covert narcissist. The worst kind. That's who I'm talking to. But it's a man. Look at this. Masculine. Emperor. Divine masculine is sad because somebody either played them for a fool or they got made a fool of trying to hurt somebody. Adjust the energies as needed. If this is your story, go in the comment section and talk about it. You are welcome. Look, no, worried, and divorce. Oh, my goodness. This masculine energy is worried. Whoever this person is that it's all a no. You're not even supposed to be with this person. You're mismatched. You, you're not even supposed to take this person back. And, and, and that feminine, that new supply that's getting played by the narcissistic misogynistic energy needs to be worried. Because this will end in a divorce. It's not going to work out. What are the messages for the collective on this evening? Spiritual warfare. We are in spiritual warfare dealing with these coward demons who scapegoated a lot of us out. Now, when I say us, I'm speaking to the community in general. I've been used as a scapegoat for thousands of things over the years. I grew up as a PK, so you can only imagine. That's enough right there. What are the messages for the collective? Remember how we got dreams? 
Now we got shattered dreams. This is what's gonna happen to the, them because they tried to shatter your dream. Their dreams are about to be shattered. What are the messages for the collective on this evening? These could be someone you had a soul contract with. Maybe the, I, even for me, these were people I loved. These were people that I know I communed with and had energies with in another lifetime. They were karmic then and they're karmic now. Ain't nothing changed. Go in the comment section and type, ain't nothing changed. They're still a karmic. Do not trust him or her. See, I told y'all adjust the energies as needed. This is a serious narcissistic cycle. This is a season, a cycle, and it's coming to an end. It's going to stop. You have brighter days ahead, collective. Some of you are going to be rich. You're going to be millionaires. You can look for the increase. You can look for the abundance. You are great. Go in the comment section and type, I am great. Yes, you are. God is great, but he's giving you favor. He's about to make your name great because you stood up for your spirituality because you stood up for God. He's about to make your name great. You made his name great. He's going to make your name great. Chief, be quiet. My listeners can hear you, you big bad puppy. Chief is a huge dog. You do not want to play with Chief. Y'all hear that bark? You know what? To me, that's confirmation. <laughs> Y'all want to know what kind of confirmation it is? The guy is about to release the hellhounds on all of your enemies. People who came after you, they're about to be in trouble. God is about to release their karma. Y'all hear that growl? That's how karma, karma is about to uh, creep up on these people. And I told y'all, some of you all are millionaire status. I got billionaire here. What are the messages for the collective? Y'all see how when I change the the uh, temperament he stopped growling that was a straight yes that was a straight spiritual direct message coming in through that dog somebody that is in trouble god is about to release karma on somebody who tried to hurt you who tried to set you up they they need to be dealing with their own addictions these people have dark secret hidden addictions and they thought it was cool to come after one of the chosen ones it did not go as planned the tables are turning on these people as we speak what are the messages for the collective i can't make this stuff up they went and got new narcissistic supply they're in a narcissistic cycle that's not gonna end good they ghosted you i know they did Let's pull some one-liners. Those of you that like longer readings, you'll like this reading. <laughs> I didn't mean to take it this long, but hey, it's, hey, Spirit got some messages that need to come through. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate that so much. Let's get these messages out to the masses, to those that need them the most. I need you guys to like, 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 share, share, share. Tell people to subscribe if this is not your read. And if you know how to help somebody, hey, send it to them. Let's get, was that one-liners? Those were one-liners. Maybe I want to get, you know what? I'm just going to go with the cards I picked up. I guess I should have been doing phrases. I went into the wrong section. I'll be back home. You guys are going to get one message next week from my house. And that'll be on Tuesday at some point. And then I'll be out again. A lot of people are asking me, where do I live? I'm not really uh, excited about saying where I'm actually residing right now. But if you're in the Atlanta area, that is where I'm thinking about doing my first conference on next year. So if you would like, if, you, if it would be a possibility for any of my followers or listeners to meet me in Atlanta, possibly in the month of June 2025, if you are interested in this first conference, please go in the comment section and let me know. That is probably where the first uh, conference will be. Well, since I picked up one-liners, let's do a few more before I end this read. What are the messages for the collective? Let, let me tell you something. This is what's going on with these people that had it in for you. They fighting over us. They, they trying to figure out who gave it to who because they're all cheating on each other. Ain't that something? Watching your channel, following you, and they got STDs and fighting. Sound to me like somebody need to be praying to God for healing mentally and physically. They could be dealing with some spiritual STDs, uh, sexually transmitted demons. The religious community can be a mess. What are the messages for the collective? They stressing, but the only card flipped over was stressing here. 
They're worried about your increase. They see you being blessed after they tried to hurt you. It didn't go as planned. We got pastor right here. I hope ain't no pastors involved in trying to set up people and cause obstacles for people. Look at this, unfaithful. It's some spiritual leaders that came for you. They got a lot of stuff in the closet and because they came for you, God's about to expose them. They call themselves, that's what they thought they were doing to me. Oh, we gonna expose her. All y'all did was make me uh, tighten up my channel, reboot, start another one, and make sure that I stay on the guidelines that God gave me. You guys trying to report me, because some of them are listening, you guys actually gave me the best come up of my life. It made me choose me. And you know what? Justice is coming, not just for me collective, for the people that did this to you as well. Ought to be ashamed of themselves. All the problems they got and they chasing in behind me. God ain't pleased. Go in the comment section and type, God ain't pleased. What are the messages for the collective on this evening? They took a risk and they failed, baby. You took a risk and you're being blessed. I just saw the judgment card, but it didn't fall out. They took a risk messing with the chosen one and they about to find out what it's all about. Y'all better believe it. Stop worrying. God got y'all back. He's coming for your enemies. I hope that I said something that resonates with someone. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. Until next time. Bye-bye.